having their voices heard while 15 year old lacrosse player Matt Strotman remains in a coma after suffering a stroke last week. Dozens of people are leaving messages for his family meant for him. Good evening and thank you for joining us for nine on your side at 11. Julie O'Neill has the night off nine on your sides. Jake Ryle joins us now with how Matt's classmates and their families are hoping to help him heal. How are they doing that? Well, it's actually hospitals that limit the number of folks who can come and see Matt Stratman. So as of right now, only family and maybe a few friends have been by his side, but all of that's going to change is more than 100 will hopefully soon be in his ear because of a video. The power of one by one person helping it can change a lot of things. Every one person has something to give. Like Leslie Rineker, she's a family friend to the Stratmans. First, I'm a mom, so I can't imagine wrapping my head around what they're experiencing. After hearing the news more than a week ago of Lakota West High School student Matt Stratman collapsing following a lacrosse game, she wanted to help in any way she could. I'm just one person and what can I do that might be different from what someone else is already doing and my camera popped into my head. During a car wash fundraiser over the weekend, 128 people left a message. And I said how much like I missed him and how everybody's cheering him on and working hard. Voices from the fundraiser spliced together and will soon be sent to the Stratman family and even Matt himself. If Matt can hear, which we believe he can, I thought it would be important to get all of those voices in his hospital room so that his friends and the community could feel like they were there with him and Matt could feel like they were there with him. Catherine Vonderhaar has been friends with Matt since seventh grade. Just being there for me when I'm down or being there for each other, going through sports and stuff, just encouraging each other and being at each other's games. Bracelets on her wrists for a cause close to her heart. Definitely hoping that he wakes up soon and that um, we all get to see him again and everything will go back to how it used to be, just hanging out with him and being with him. You hope it pushes him and, and the positivity helps get him back and get him uh, back here with all of us and, and to live a normal life. That video providing comfort for him to know support is close by. We want him to hear that for himself and we're hoping that that will give him a little bit of extra motivation and strength to keep fighting so that he'll wake up and come back to his family. Because all it takes is one. Really miraculous things can start happening. And there are going to be several fundraisers set up for the family this week. We're going to post all of that information about those events on WCPO.com. Jake Ryle, 9 on your side. What a great